ordained. I think the war had ended about four years. I was born up in the falls. But the thing, funny thing about it, my granddad was from the second. But I never knew him because he was killed in the battle of song. But it all was sort of give a, you know, like a, it wasn't one or it wasn't the other, you know what I mean? It was a hoffer, a brother. And um, I went to school. I remember my first day at school. And then, um, remember the girl that brought me. But my Belfast, I had to grow up fast. There's none of this, you know, handed, everything getting handed to me. So when I developed a way of surviving, which I don't till today, I used to go up the Malone Road and wrap it to work. Mrs. give us a piece. And they usually give you a jam. Because we didn't have jam. There was ten in our family. My dad died and left ten of them. So the woman would come out to give you and she said, do you want to eat drink some? And you got lemon barley water. It was like winning a lot. Anyway, I used to go to the museum. So that's where I've garnered whatever information I have in life. Me and mates used to start looking at painting. Maybe a guy. And we had a thought what we thought about it. I really didn't know anything about it. But we thought, we're in the museum, let's play the part. And we looked at the mummy every day to see if her nails had grown. Because someone told us that when you die, your nails keeps growing, so does your hair. Anyway, life was good. School, primary school, might be a sort of a secondary school for about three months. So my life's been primary school and that's it. I drove a horse and cart. I done the hobby horses and I must say I done them ever before McMarty done them. I worked at the hobby horses before that. And we done the shankle. We done all them big long streets up the Antrim Road. All them boulevards down the shore road. And I didn't turn the handle like a kid. Then when we come back, it was 12 pennies till I shone in them. And all the pennies were paid up. Like copper tires. But they meant it to not you know. A fire would have covered the whole cart. So then I yoked the horse out, took the harness off, put it in the stable, and fell. But then, I got in the mercy I remember being in Lorne, 1969, 14th of August, and I went for a drink. And I went to a bar that was wrong for me. Another swords bar. And somebody said he's using in the wrong place. This was in 1968. Nothing happened. But when I went for a drink and I come back, I said, where do you get a board here? Where do you get another drink? So he said, we hold down facing the cinema. And I went to it. No matter, that was an orange one. We had a cup of tea and a biscuit. No drink, no chase, no nothing. But a strange thing happened that night. And I'll never forget it. As I walk back to the ship, my life would never be the same. I know we've all heard of these spices and everything, but outside the barracks there was a sandbagging placement where a brand on it. It wasn't there when I went to the drink, but it was when I came back. The troubles had begun, and I was in Lorne, and I lived in Belfast, and I didn't really know what was going on. I signed off a boat the next day when I came down into Belfast, and I went home, and I had to take a different route. Normally, I had entered where I lived by Albert Street, up the falls, down Albert Street, down the street. I couldn't. And I actually had to enter by Durham Street. And when I came up and I walked into Durham Street, I met two guys, two twins, and someone one of them says to me, I'm glad you're back. I really love that. Back. When I looked around me, I seen something that was to change my life 